Hey guys, so I don't normally talk about these kinds of things, but I think this time it's uh, pretty important. So as many of you know, Asmongold was recently banned on Twitch uh, temporarily for some opinions he gave uh, regarding Israel and Hamas. And I don't really want to get into the right or wrongness of his opinion, whether you agree or disagree. To me, that's totally irrelevant. There's a much bigger uh, issue going on here, and that's the fact that he was banned for those opinions. And opinions that weren't in any way, uh, they were characterized as hateful and racist. And you'll see people on Twitter going nuts about it. And I don't really think they were in any way. He stated a fact about a religion and he gave his opinion on an ongoing social issue that involves a war between two foreign nations um, and what his opinion on that war is. And his opinion basically boiled down to, I don't care. I don't give a shit. Uh, let them do what they're doing. I don't care. Um, if it wasn't them, it'd be us. That kind of opinion. Like I said, I don't want to get into the specifics of right or wrong. If you guys want to see a video about that, sure. And I'm not going to show the clip here of uh, what got him banned. Because knowing YouTube, they'll turn around and start banning anybody who uploads a clip. We know YouTube, even more so than Twitch, has been very problematic in uh, censorship and banning people with, you know, the, quote, wrong opinions. And so I don't even want to take that chance. Um, so I think this sets... A really, really terrible precedent, especially after um, when you look back to like the 2020 election up until now, where like Facebook and Twitter have come out and basically admitted that they were told to censor and ban anyone that said certain things, to censor certain information and certain facts to sway the election one way or the other. Um, and so I think this doesn't necessarily set like that precedent, that level of like worry, but it does show that Twitch will not only cave to social pressure um, and ban someone for an opinion um, that I don't really see as at its like service level being very problematic, whether it's right or wrong, you agree or disagree. I think saying I don't care about this war and um, saying that it, you know, stating a fact about a religion, I don't see that as being problematic. I think that's just an opinion and everyone's entitled to their own opinion whether it's a moral opinion or not, it, that to me, that really doesn't matter. What, like I said, what does matter to me is the fact that you can get banned for that opinion. And I think that is a, a fundamentally bad thing. Uh, now, I'm not going to go off and say, oh, boycott Twitch or anything like that. Um, because fundamentally, was Twitch wrong for banning Asmongold? The answer is no, actually. I know that may surprise some of you. I wish he hadn't been banned. I think it sets a bad precedent. But people love to say like, oh, the First Amendment is dead. And what about my freedom of speech? And, you know, blah. well, you got to remember that Twitch is not the United States. Twitch is a private corporation, a, fi a private company that runs a streaming platform. They can ban you for being ugly and it would be completely right, completely moral, completely just. Uh, maybe not morally just. That's an exaggeration. But it would be fine because it is their platform. They do get to set the rules. And I think that's something a lot of people need to take a step back, stop being so emotionally invested and remember this is their platform. If they want to ban Asmund Gold because he's balding, they can ban him because he's balding. He gave an opinion. They didn't like the opinion. They banned him for the opinion. However, when you have as much power as a platform like Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, I think you start send it. The messages you send do carry weight and the message that this send carries that weight and it carries the weight of saying that if you give the opinion that we don't like you can be deplatformed for it and so i think that's something really important to remember and to kind of take away from this maybe uh, you know if you're already a streamer and you're saying this maybe you think about potentially moving to a different platform um because what if one day you have the wrong one you know and you may have the right opinion now but what happens if the social norms and social morality shift within the next two to three years, all of a sudden what's the right opinion right now is the wrong opinion, you know? And that's, that's where you really don't want to be on a, like walking a, like where you feel like you're walking on these eggshells of always trying to have the right opinion, always trying to conform to social norms. And personally, I just always want to be on a platform where I can uh, feel like I'm always being my genuine self. Now, obviously, you're not going to get that with Twitch and YouTube. That's really the only real platforms we have right now. I'm not even going to get into, like, kick and stuff. Um, but, yeah, so that that part does suck. And so we are kind of stuck in this um, this area. So maybe it is time to, for us to start seriously considering platforms like um, Rumble. I know Rumble seen as, like, the super alt-right, um, 
you know, just extremist platform. But I, from what I've actually read into it, it seems like they do just kind of care more about just zero censorship, whether you're alt-right, extreme left, liberal, whatever, conservative. Um, they just don't want any censorship. That's just kind of what, like the very limited research, and this is not an ad for Rumble in any way. Um, but I'm saying that maybe we, stood, we, sh uh, we should start looking into alternative platforms where an opinion, uh, and not even like a problem, like if he had come out and said like, Mexicans are bad or white people are bad or black people are bad. I think that would be fine. And I think it also does going back to the precedent. I think I know my thought. This is not scripted. So that's why my thoughts are all over the place. Um, I think it's funny that there is so much blatant, openly, uh, op blatant, open racism against, um, like white people. Cause that's what's in fashion right now and has been for about four years. Uh, to be racist against white people like that, that people openly actively do that on Twitch and they never get banned for it. Um, but I think if like Asmund Gold or, you know, uh, maybe even Ms. Kiff or someone like that were to come out and just say like black people are bad, um, they would obviously get banned very quickly for that. So I don't, I know a lot of people have been kind of playing into the what about isms of, you know, well, what about Hamas? He said way worse things. Or what about this other streamer? They've done way worse things. And, and I don't really want to play too much into that um, because I don't think it matters. I think anybody being banned for an opinion that is not blatantly uh, just evil or... And I know some people say, oh, this opinion is evil, but it's fundamentally and objectively not an evil opinion. When I say evil opinion, I mean things like blatant racism, blatant sexism, promoting violence. And, you know, some people would even argue, like Elon Musk has argued that blatant racism and sexism on social media is fine because it's not against the law, you know. And I kind of wish that social media platforms would adopt that. Um, if it's not against the law, we're not going to ban it. Because Elon, or, sorry, Asmongol would not have gotten banned on Twitter for saying this. Um, this is purely a Twitch thing. Now, whether Twitch wanted to ban him for this or they you know, just felt like they had to bend the knee to the social norms or to the social pressures. We will never know. We'll never know if that, if which reason there was for this ban. Um, but regardless, he was banned for an opinion that in no way violated the law. And that's why I think that um, this is problematic. Like I said, I don't think Twitch is wrong for banning him because it is their platform. And that's what people need to remember. Um, just like you can go and block everyone on Facebook who has a pimple, you know, like you can do that because that is your Facebook account. Now, Facebook can ban you for any reason they want as well. So it's like the people kind of like confuse the first amendment that applying to everything on the internet. And that's just not the case. And people need to like really take a step back, stop being emotionally invested and remember that I do find it interesting that, uh, Essentially what Twitch is saying with this ban, and I'm sure there's been other bands like it that I just don't really keep up with that much. I don't keep up with a lot of streamers. Asmund Gold is just one of the ones that I do. Uh, but I do find it funny that this kind of sets another precedent that Twitch is a website that does not mind showing softcore porn to 13 year olds, but will ban you for an opinion. Like, and to me, that's just almost unfathomable. Like, how do we live in this version of the world? Like, <laughs> And then why do I specifically say 13 year olds? Because the terms of service say you have to be 13 to be on the site and then they allow softcore porn on the site. So they are essentially saying you have our seal of approval for to be showing softcore in some cases, not so softcore um, porn to 13 year olds. And that's probably not OK. I think that's definitely not OK. Um, it, it like where. <sighs> these corporations and i know they all they don't give a fuck all they care about is just conforming to social you know what's socially acceptable what's going to make them the most money and i get that that's totally kind of understandable i mean it's not how i would want to run a company but i'm also not a billionaire maybe there's a reason for that but uh it it's gross to me it just feels really gross that you can't have an honest conversation about politics or about, you know, difficult topics that should probably be discussed, maybe not by like streamers, but you know, that, you know, I think do have a healthy place for discussion, um, among communities, any community, really, you can't do that, but you know, we can, you know, 
show softcore porn to 13 year olds and like that's where our moral compass is and i think that's um that's i I just don't i can't really put it into words very well but i just that does not sit very well with me at all um now going back to the ban this is not the first time that people have been banned from social media for giving problematic opinions like i talked about earlier um essentially you know if you go back again to the like election in 2020 um, people were being banned for opinions everywhere donald trump got banned off twitter um, especially before elon musk bought twitter there were a lot of bans for just having the wrong opinion again um and then not only that but people being you know people will do everything they can to get you deplatformed um for having an opinion that's not theirs because we've kind of gotten to this point where everyone just wants an echo chamber um no one wants a someone to challenge them but yeah like i said so it's not the first time people have been banned on social media for having these problematic opinions again i already mentioned it but if you look back over like the election years and even some other uh time per- periods there have been plenty of people banned on social media websites um for having political opinions or you know saying things about vaccines or masks or even on youtube they had a big problem with talking about covid for a long time and maybe they do i don't know um maybe they still do rather i don't know but i think that's like it i keep i don't want to sound like i'm repeating myself but it's really bad precedent to set that you are just not allowed to discuss these things um on the basically gathering hubs of the internet Um, because that's what these places are these are where people these are the main sites on the internet where people come together and where these conversations can be had and you can make the argument that like hey these websites aren't the place for that conversation um i would disagree i know that these websites probably don't want these places to be the place to have that conversation um but i do think that when you have a place where everyone on the internet essentially the majority of the internet comes together that it's a that you should be facilitating these conversations so people can have healthy discussions about it um but everything just feels so like politically motivated um and like the the feels like believe it or not to me right now it feels like the internet's in a, in a really weird spot um maybe like the weirdest spot it's been since like the early 2000s with like uh what's going on on like like youtube kids and then like some stuff going on on like twitch and like some other stuff going on on youtube itself um and then elon musk owning twitter how um, much i think is a w uh because i i don't want censorship at all um but it's like it's this really weird place and i hope you know i think i've been kind of hoping for like five years it would just work itself out and the internet could go back to just being it, the internet's always a weird place but weird in a different way weird in a better way not so politically weird not so social justicey weird i just that's a that's i don't like that because I, I feel like it breeds so much intellectual dishonesty uh but i don't want to get too far off topic uh going going back on topic about the asthma gold ban final thoughts are um i wish he hadn't been banned but twitch is well within the rights to do that i don't think anything he said was racist evil or problematic again i don't want to get into like whether or not you agree or disagree i don't think that's what's important i think whether or not you believe that it was okay for him to say um like you someone can say green's my favorite color and you can disagree you can say blue's my favorite color and but you can still acknowledge but it's okay for green to be your favorite color and that's kind of more of what i'm getting at whether you agree or disagree I don't think you can make a strong argument that it's not okay for him to say. Oh, and a third one I was going to mention, I don't think he should have apologized. I don't think he did anything wrong, first of all. Now, if he genuinely felt like "Ah, I shouldn't have said that, like that's not how I feel. Uh, I was caught up in the moment. I Maybe I was frustrated, whatever whatever the reason is. Um, And he just like, hey, that's not how I actually feel and I shouldn't have said that. Then I think that's, you know, you know sure i would have probably just done it on stream and been like or well i guess he can't now but um you know i don't know if i i kind of wish he would not have apologized in the way he did because the way it comes across is very um disingenuous to who asmongold is and the kind of what he represents and i'm not going to tell asmongold who he is zach um but the image he's built up 
of he's always said like never respond to controversy never apologize to these freaks never you know like all these like kind of catchphrases he's built up over the years and then for him to come out and apologize it came across as very like corpo i'll be completely honest i think i got that vibe i think a lot of people got that vibe um you know drama alert saying like oh people are gonna stop uh you know partnering with starforge and all that um and like the way it was like written felt very like uh some people at starforge were like hey man you gotta apologize there's some people in otk were like hey man you gotta apologize um it, it didn't feel very sincere it did come across as pretty fake uh i'm sorry zach if you ever do see this um i'm just being honest with you it didn't come across as being authentic and like the genuine asmongold genuine zach that that we all know um and but like i said if it was a uh instance of like i said this thing as a knee-jerk reaction and i didn't mean it and I think the apology is totally fine. Um, I, I think it could have been worded differently to be a, sound a bit more sincere and not sound very like scripted. Um, and that that is kind of what it came across as. Um, and then like the wording of it of you know I did go too far. That's like it still it doesn't really sound like you're saying like I don't think that it, it sounds like you're like it sounds like damage control. Um, sounded very corpro. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, you know and you know and that's important to be able to like kind of criticize people even if we like them is to be you know able to say you know hey i didn't really like this decision you made but you know i wish zach nothing but the best i can't wait to for him to come back from this ban i'm not sure if it's a 72 hour um i just kind of woke up this morning and found out about this and did a little research on it and wanted to give my thoughts on it um and I guess to wrap this up, um, I guess my final thought is, I guess now I hope Elon Musk buys Twitch too. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I would love to, to, to for Twitch to be a platform um, that we can have conversations like this with. Because I like having conversations like this with my viewers on Twitch. Uh, by the way, Kamari94 on Twitch. Um, about, you know, maybe different political issues or different, you know, relationships between political parties in the country at the time or stuff like that and so i could easily see myself not this exact opinion or anything like that but i could see myself giving you know an opinion on things because i have some strong opinions on different issues um and then you know again being the wrong opinion and then boom now i'm hit with a ban and i'm not as important as asman gold so mine will probably be a perma ban let's be honest um but anyways that's all i got for today I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not my normal style of video, nor the normal kind of thing that I do, but maybe I'll make more of these if you guys like it. Um, I do hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Again, um, if you liked it, maybe like, subscribe, Kamari94 on Twitch, and I will see you guys next time.